Hey, this is Chris at Record Talk with another episode of You Need That Record. Yes, you. Yes, you. And you. And you. And the record you need today is Legendary Shack Shakers. Cockadoodle Doo. Look, it's on limited color vinyl. Let's see what color the vinyl is. Well, there's your label. Look, it's on alternative tentacles. Look at that cool looking label. And it's on... Oh, and it's different color on the other side. And it's blue vinyl. Very pretty. And so what this is, the Legendary Shack Shakers is a band um, that is fronted by Colonel J.D. Wilkes. And how is he a colonel? He's a Kentucky colonel. Just like Bob Bradley, uh, J.D. Wilkes is the only ever present member of the Legendary Shack Shakers. Um, he's originally from Paducah, Kentucky, which is the very western tip of Kentucky, not too far away from me. They've kind of merged from being, they were kind of a punk psychobilly band 20-ish years ago. They're more now described as like twisted bluegrass. So there's definitely your punk alternative elements, but there's your uh, bluegrass country music elements. And this record... Um, and here's the insert of it. Uh, as you can see, former Shack Shakers appearing on this album. So a lot of the members over the past 20, 25 years have come back. Um, and basically this record is sort of paying homage to various types of country music. Um, so there are two covers on this. Uh, the very first song is a cover of uh, the legendary song Rawhide. And of course, to be a little bit twisted, who do we have singing backup vocals on Rawhide? Why, it's Jello Biafra from the Dead Kennedys. We have guests from places like the Lester Flat Band, Amy Lou Harris's band, and the Paducah Symphony Orchestra. Um, so all kinds of stuff going on there. And uh, the other cover song is song number three on side B, I Don't Remember Loving You. I looked it up. Apparently, it was a song by sort of your standard country guy, John Conley, in, I think, like, 1982. It was like a top ten country hit. Can't say I've ever been into John Conley. Um, the rest of the songs are originals. As I said, various styles. Uh, I really like God Forsaken Town. Uh, the lyrics are pretty cool. Um, it seems like it's probably at least partially autobiographical about Paducah, Kentucky. Um, it used to have a cool little old downtown, but Mr. Walton moved right in and shut it down. They build a Dick's on a battlefield. So there is a Dick's Sporting Goods in the Kentucky Oak Shopping Mall. I don't know if that mall was built on an old battlefield or not. I don't know how how autobiographical this is about Paducah in general, or just um, sort of small town America in general. Um, Punk Rock Retirement Plan is a pretty cool song as well. Sort of your mix of sort of being an aging punker on the country side of punk. Um, and so I think this is, um, and the name Cockle Doodle Do came from their early album, 2002, is called Cockadoodle Don't. Um, and they've had several other albums since then. So if you like your country music a little bit on the twisted, punky side, you just might like the legendary Shack Shakers, led by Kentucky Colonel J.D. Wilkes.